Hey, what's up guys? It's Sickly FM, and if you're here, you're most likely pretty frustrated. Uh, so I'm just gonna get straight into this as fast as possible for you lovely people out there. So we have three methods to recover. An Ableton project that refuses to open, that just freezes and says not responding indefinitely, and, you, and you know, you wait fucking three hours and it doesn't open. So here we go. We have three methods, um, depending on how much of the project you want to recover. So first method is if you want to uh, recover all of the effects on your master rack, so like your mastering bus, and also if you want to retain this information, the independent track delays. So. What this method entails is basically you're going to rename all your VST folders so that Ableton doesn't uh, detect them. And then you're going to open up the project. And then uh, and you're going to see all these uh, little VST in instances that say the VST plugin cannot be found. After that, you're going to go back and rename your VST folders to their original names. Um, after that, you're going to go, you're going to hit control, comma, to open up the preferences, and then rescan your VSTs. Once they're all scanned, you're going to basically delete everything, and then use control Z, and, uh, you know, undo that deletion, and everything should come back, all the VSTs should be restored with all of their settings, and everything will be perfect. Um, the second method is... Um, arguably faster than waiting for your VST files to reload. This is only if you don't need to recover any of this information on the side, the uh, independent track delays or any effects on the master bus. What you're basically going to do is you're going to go over here into your project browser. You're going to click the drop down. You're going to select everything. And you're going to basically drag that into the project and in some cases that'll actually work for whatever reason um, even though it's basically the same as just uh, opening the project itself for whatever reason this does work sometimes but if none of these methods are working out for you um, the third method as a last resort is essentially the same as the Second method, where you're going into the project browser drop-down and dragging in the tracks, but you're going to do them one at a time until you find the problem track that is causing the instance of Ableton to crash. And from there, you'll have to troubleshoot which VSTs are causing it to crash. You might have to reinstall it, or if you're pirating, a lot of developers make it so that if you pirate their software, it'll essentially crash your project. So buy it, reinstall it, whatever you have to do from there. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope I made it quick and concise because I do know this is a pretty frustrating, uh, you know, thing that happens sometimes. And another tip just to prevent your Ableton projects from uh, refusing to open and becoming this clunky with so much stuff going on is to freeze and flatten your tracks. And uh, I'm sure you can find a video on that. But other than that, hope you guys got something from this video. If you want more useful stuff like this, please feel free to like the video, comment, and subscribe. I will be posting a lot more pretty soon here. But yeah, anyway, have a good one.